EXP Realty, New Brunswick. This is a video I've been incredibly excited to put out for so long now for a number of reasons, but starting with the fact that this is a life-changing brokerage that so many agents are still turning a blind eye to in the Maritimes in general. And what I want to do in this video is I can almost guarantee for those that take the time to stay to the end of this and listen to what I have to say, because I know almost everybody explains it improperly, does not share the right information, and thus turns people away. So I'm gonna make sure you've got the right information and you're going to understand how life-changing this model truly is. Now, I want to preface this with a couple of quick things. Number one, if you do want to book a private one-on-one -on -one call to talk with me on Zoom about how I can change your life like I have with over a thousand agents that have partnered with me and my specific record-breaking group at the company, you can click the link in the description below and we'll be able to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call and dive deep into your business because 90% of the people that I've talked to have ended up joining us after seeing how completely game-changing what we're doing behind the scenes is to help agents drastically scale their production. Number two, I am originally from New Brunswick, so I understand what people care about back in the Maritimes. I grew up in New Brunswick, in Rosse specifically, from 3 until 23, where I then went on to St. of X, where I do have my X ring, and finished my engineering degree alongside a second degree at the University of New Brunswick in Fredericton. Now, this is a video that, again, is going to dive into the nuances that I see nobody sharing, but truly amplifies the power of this brokerage by giving more back to the agents, allowing you to make over 100% of your commission. The ability, based on what I know people care so much about in New Brunswick, of spending time with your family, your friends, your relatives, being able to travel and enjoy the beauty of the province that ultimately one day is going to allow you to enjoy retirement time with your kids, your grandkids, traveling the world, exploring new places, and connecting with people like you never would have before. Because I very much know that in the Maritimes, everybody knows everybody. And once you start to understand the power of this model, your mind is going to be completely blown. So we're bringing on one of my business partners, Brandon Vincent, who lives in St. John, New Brunswick. And I'm going to be breaking down all of these nuances of not just how I've broken multiple records at this company, where I was a top producer in my past boutique brokerage here in Calgary. And within my first couple of years of being at eXp, I was able to become the number one attractor in the history of the company worldwide without reaching out to a single agent. So we're then gonna dive into all of the different details and prove to you why this is the number one brokerage to be at as a real estate agent in New Brunswick. So without further ado, let's dive into this incredibly disruptive real estate brokerage model and show you and prove to you how you're able to get compensated a lot more for doing the exact same thing that you're already doing. All right, so uh, I guess we'll start off, Mike. Uh, not that you need much of an introduction, but um, for anybody on my channel that doesn't know who you are, um, or anybody that's uh, currently watching that doesn't know who you are, which uh, if anybody's in real estate, they should, but if they don't, please give uh, your introduction. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm super excited to be here. And, and, you know, thankfully, we're talking about New Brunswick today. And I am from New Brunswick. So, you know, I live in Calgary now, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. But, um, you know, I was I grew up in Rosse my entire life. So very familiar with New Brunswick, went to school at St. of X, UMB, uh, you know, a previous engineer, but I got into real estate uh, many years ago. And, you know, I've been a top producing agent every year that I was, I you know, actively licensed at my past boutique brokerages, I broke, you know, really quickly into the luxury space. Um, and social media, as you alluded to, is my forte. So as a top producer, being a young agent in a new market that didn't know anybody, I wanted to create leverage. So I started looking at, okay, I have no money, but I have time. And if you could properly invest your time, you can create money. So I started, yes, door knocking, and I did extremely well with that in the beginning. But then I transitioned to social media. And now I train thousands of agents every year to scale their business the modern way with social media. Uh, I've been recognized as the number one agent in my city, in my province, uh, top in the country, top in North America on social media media on various platforms. And I joined eXp just over two years ago. And it's been a life changing opportunity. Again, turning a blind eye to it for so long, I didn't realize what I missed. And uh, because again, I was the top producer, my brokerage, I was this, you know, best friend with the CEO and the founder of the brokerage, he still is one of my best friends. So, you know, I was kind of their poster child where they were helping me out, you know, doing luxury listings with me providing marketing budgets and things like that. But I had to look at this opportunity. Um, 
And once I properly understood, it was life-changing. So I joined EXP just over two years ago. And in my first two years, I broke every record in the history of the company worldwide in terms of personal attraction. So um, pers most number of personally sponsored agents in the history of the company, most number of personally sponsored actively producing agents in the history of the company. We built one of the fastest organizations in the company, as well as one with one of the highest retention. So we've done a lot here. And that's why I'm excited to talk about not only this incredible model, but also what makes our group so unique and why we're able to achieve such, you know, incredible feats with what we're doing here at our group. Right. And uh, I just want to take a second and just say what you've done in two years is absolutely yeah. astonishing, man. It's 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 so mind blowing. And it's uh, and it's awesome for me to be part of it. I've been I've been just uh, mind blown because saying two years, really, that's not that long. And you've done so much over the last two years to provide value for everybody that you are sponsoring, bringing in and providing uh, and then creating the Wolfpack, which is just leading by value, by by teaching people how to optimize their social media. I mean, that's how I got started on, on YouTube, going step-by-step step through your training course where you break it down individually and you make it so, so tangible and so easy to understand. I mean, there was a time where I was super good with tech. Slowly, as I get older, it starts to become a little bit more tricky, but like you break it down so easy that like, I even think like my grandmother could do it if she just took the time to kind of watch watch the videos. And man, I think, I think that that's... Uh, that's a huge, a huge part of, of, of why it's been exploding the way it has is just the fact that, that you've have pretty well unlocked the key of like leading with value. Yeah. It's, it's, that's the thing is, you know, I've broken all the records, but I haven't reached out to anybody. I'm not one of these EXP agents that's recruiting. I'm, I've never sent a text message, a DM, a phone call, an email to anybody. Everybody has seen what we're doing above and beyond every other group of the company and coming to us. So that's been a really important thing. And, and that's how you, that's how I won listings as a, a top agent is I over delivered on value. And when you look at what our group does, you know, we've had brand new agents do over $67 million in production in the first year, entirely free from their iPhone uh, by leveraging our video strategies. And we've done this across all of North America. So so um, I'm excited to dive in, man. Let's uh, kind of jam out about some of the things that people might not know about this model and, you know, see how we can make sure people get the right information uh, by the time they leave this. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, I guess, Mike, what would you say the benefits are of joining uh, EXP Realty in New Brunswick? Yeah, so there's a multitude of different things. And and being from Rosse, I'm very aware of the fact that typically the East Coast and the Maritimes are a little bit behind in terms of their adoption or adapting to, you know, something that's new, relevant, modern, trending, anything like that. It's it's very conservative, very family oriented. Everybody knows everybody and it's an incredible right. culture, but uh but it does take time for them to adapt more than the more you know, maybe aggressive, bigger cities where people are always looking for a competitive edge. So the big thing is being an early adopter, right? So when you look at this model, if you're a, if you're in any company or, you know, we'll talk about this as a reference point, but if you're an early adopter and a proven exponentially growing opportunity, you get rewarded or compensated unfairly compared to those that wait for the opportunity to mature. So for example, the way that we like to allude it to, and then I'll revert it back to EXP is if you look at getting into Amazon, Tesla, or Apple stock the day it IPOs and you held on to it for the last five years, you'd be doing pretty well for yourself. Well, the same thing is, is if you look at the early adopters at eXp in any province, state, or country, you know, some of my business partners are now making a million dollars a month residually. So that's $12 million a year on top of their production, on top of their stock residually. And even for me, you know, I wasn't even an early adopter in Calgary, but by still looking at this opportunity and kind of over delivering on value, I've built a six figure per month residual income in two years. And so that's, you know, 100% profit. So it's really important to look at how can you get ahead of the curve? Because New Brunswick's not seeing it as much right now, same with Nova Scotia, but the market is starting to shift. And when the market shifts, you want to position yourself in terms of the training you're getting, the mentorship, the guidance, and the compensation to put yourself and your family in the best position they possibly can be. So when we start diving into the different aspects of this model and the compensation plan, you're going to very quickly see that financially, and, and again, being an engineer, I keep my calculator with me at all times. But when you look at this mathematically, it is undeniable that it is the most profitable brokerage in North America. And it's important because a lot of times when we're when we're looking at should I go to Remax, should I go to Caldwell, should I go to Sotheby's, should I go to you know any of these brokerages exit, 
a lot of people are looking at it from uh, an ego or an emotional perspective because they're maybe they love their broker, maybe their friends are there, maybe their parents are there, some sort of you know emotional tie to it. But what you have to start looking at in terms of taking your business to the next level is look at it logically, breaking down the math because you can't argue math with number uh, with with emotion, right? So when we can bring it to a numbers play it starts to really prevail in terms of how powerful this is. And we'll get into the different compensation plans of this model, because especially for New Brunswick, especially for people that are very family, family oriented, very much wanting to build an exit strategy and a retirement plan one day to enjoy, you know, the beautiful ocean and, and, you know, fishing and all the amazing things we love to do back in the East coast. This is the only place that will ever allow you to achieve that. And I will prove that by design as we get further into this conversation. Exactly. And the fact it's a uh, global opportunity as well. This isn't just New Brunswick. It's not just Canada. This is this is going global. And I mean, it it already is. And, w- and with the amount of real estate agents just in Canada alone, I mean, I think we have somewhere, what is it, about 200 license or sorry, uh, 2 million um, licensed real estate agents in, in Canada. I think it's around that that number. And then when you look at how many EXP agents, I think we're just, or yeah, we're just under 90,000 right now. So it's like the market share that's available globally is so, is so unbelievable and how it's just kind of just starting to take off too. Yeah, definitely. And, and I'm excited to, to kind of break that down because I think a lot of people don't properly understand some of the nuances of this. So uh, let's kind of dive into that in terms of the uh, the compensation plan for production for, you know, some of the other ancillary benefits of this model. And then we can kind of uh, dive a bit deeper into New Brunswick specifically as well. Okay, okay. Um, so I guess, uh, yeah, so then touching on 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 some of the compensation plans. Um, so let's say, uh, I know one big thing that we talk about it at EXP is the fact that we have uh, an opportunity for some major passive income. Um, could you just uh, could you just kind of um, give us kind of the broad uh, scope and I guess even yeah, just the outline and how that works? Yeah, definitely. So we'll, we'll kind of take it back and just talk about the the gist that I want people to understand is that at EXP, yeah. the moral of the story is that get, you're getting compensated more for doing the exact same thing you would at any other brokerage, no additional effort, no deviation of focus, you're getting more for doing the exact same thing. And I'll reference my past brokerage and my original brokerage Remax and talk about this from a side by side comparison. So for example, you can see the black trophies behind me here. Those are top producer awards for multiple years I've got more that just didn't fit. But when we start looking at this at a traditional brick and mortar franchise, old school brokerage, whenever you start to become a strong agent, and you start to, you know, get a decent amount of production on your belt, you become a top producer. And usually when you become a top producer, you get a trophy or a plaque or an award with your name on it, which looks cool, but does nothing for your business. So with the EXP by dropping overhead, reducing expenses and going cloud base, they can afford to get more back to the agent. So we have the icon award, whenever you cap, so we're on an 80 20 split with a $16,000 cap. Once you cap, If you do 20 deals after you cap, then you become an icon agent. And when you become an icon agent, you get your entire $16,000 cap back for free in company stock, which is the first time in history, a brokerage has reimbursed every dollar that the agents paid in the form of the split back in the form of ownership. And I'll talk about that in a second as well, but this is why eXp is actually 100% brokerage but 100% plus, because if the stock goes up, you can actually make more than 100% of your commission. So the really cool part about that is that you're getting the value of a split brokerage, but you can make more than 100%, because a lot of people look at going to these 100% flat fee brokerages, which is the worst thing you could ever do. Because if you don't give any money to the brokerage, they can't give anything back to you in the form of training tools, resources, mentorship. So- And again, you can't save your way to prosperity. If you're looking to save a little bit versus making a lot, you've got a completely skewed perspective. And that's why in my life, I've never seen a, what I would consider a very strong agent at 100% brokerage. I've never seen it, right? right? right. So, and, I'm, and I talk to a lot of agents who do multiple seven figures a year in GCI. So from the production perspective, that's really powerful. Now, also it's looking at the fact that we get ownership in our business. So a lot of agents understand the concept of owning versus renting, right? Whenever you're working with a buyer, you'd rather them buy a property than rent a property because if they buy, they have equity ownership and they can build momentum within that. If you, you know, essentially rent, 
you're paying 100% interest. Well, at EXP, we're publicly traded on the NASDAQ, and you get ownership as an agent. That's why we're an agent-owned brokerage, just by the nature of being an agent here. So you get ownership in the fastest growing brokerage in history, just by doing the same deals you would elsewhere. And at every other brokerage, you're essentially renting your business because you're paying a monthly fee to a brokerage that you don't have ownership in, but you're telling your buyers to buy, not rent yet you're renting your own business as a realtor. So that's really powerful. And, and looking at the stock bonuses and the stock awards that we get here at the company, again, moral of the story, you close a deal at Remax, you get commission. You close a deal here, you get commission in stock, right? So when we start yeah. looking at this, it's just about getting more for doing the same thing. Now, to kind of go into what you were alluding to in terms of the residual income and right. what allows us to build wealth, it's a really important concept to understand because- the question that I ask, and I have about 100 people a month that book one-on-one -on -one calls with me to talk about partnering with our record-breaking group, is I ask them, why did they get into real estate? And they always say, aside from the typical, my family, things like that, which we'll get into that. Um, but what they always say is, I want to build wealth, and I want to create a flexible lifestyle, right? So let's unpack that for a second, which is why most agents get into the business. Well, right. by definition, in order to create wealth, you need four things, hence the wealth quadrant. You've got equity ownership, duplication, passive or residual income, and multiple streams of income. At eXp, we have all four components of the wealth quadrant, so we can create wealth just by the nature of being an agent here. At any other traditional brokerage, by definition, you cannot create wealth by the nature of being an agent because you have one income stream, right? Now, let's look at lifestyle. This is why so many agents get you know, unfortunately caught up in the hamster wheel of always chasing the next deal and why they can never retire is because when you look at lifestyle, it requires two things, money, freedom, and time freedom. Well, you can create money freedom at any brokerage in the world, but you can't create time freedom because if you have one income stream that requires your time invested in creating it, if you don't invest your time, you have no income, you have no lifestyle. Mm. So when you look at this, a great example is what I did earlier this year when I went to Mexico, right? So I went to Mexico for eight days. I took I didn't answer a single phone call, text message, or email for eight days, and I made $54,000 during my entire vacation without having to worry and stress about anything. But when you look at a traditional agent, they're fearful to go on vacation because they pay for the vacation twice, once for the vacation, once for the opportunity cost of lost business while on vacation. So they're tied to their phone. They're not present in the moment, which affects your family, affects yourself, affects your friends, whoever you're traveling with. So- you know, what I can do is before we go on to the next thing, I'll share my screen here. And what I'll do is I'll walk through the revenue share just to help people properly understand this in order to make sure that mathematically you see the true power of this, because it is not a recruiting model. It is doing the exact same thing you're already doing. And I'm going to prove that, but I'll talk about the two nuances that most people don't know when they do, they usually start to look at this in a different lens. So uh, let's pop into my screen and then we'll come back here and uh, I'll walk you through to make sure you properly understand this. Awesome. Okay, so let's dive into the revenue share system here and the residual income at eXp Realty. Now, a lot of people are going to make assumptions, and I'm going to demyth and debunk all of them. The first thing is that this is modeled after the seven tiers of Keller Williams. The only massive difference is we share revenue off the top before expenses, which is a guaranteed amount every time, and they share profit off the bottom after expenses, which is an undetermined amount every time and a heck of a lot less. Now, the next thing I want to explain is this is doing the exact same thing you would do at any other brokerage. A lot of people look at this and say, well, Mike, I don't want to recruit or attract agents. I just want to sell homes. Well, of course, that's what we all want to do. EXP Realty in United States right now is the number one transactional volume for a publicly traded brokerage, more than any other. So what I mean by this is, let's say we use myself as an example. When I was a brand new agent, I started at Remax. And whenever anybody hit me up on social media or a friend, family member referral said, Mike, either I'm unhappy with my broker or I just got my license, where do you think I should go? I told them Remax because I was there. Well, at my past boutique brokerage, I was the 24th agent, helped them go to over 130 agents because Every single time as a strong producer with a strong brand, people reached out to me and said, Mike, where do you think I should go? I told them my past brokerage. Well, I got nothing yet again for doing that. You will always tell people to go at the brokerage that you're at, whether you're at Caldwell Banker, Sotheby's, Century 21, Exit, Remax, 
a Keller Williams, any of them. So you're already doing this. The only difference is you're gonna get a heck of a lot more for doing it. And it's gonna be the only way that allows you to create flexibility and lifestyle. So let me unpack this. This is how the revenue share chart works. Is let's say you join the company, you'd be up here on your own seven tier system. And let's say you bring in your friend, John. Well, John would be on your first tier. Now, three and a half percent is a compensation structure. So let's say John closes for easy numbers at $10,000 commission. Three and a half percent of $10,000 is $350. 80-20 split. 80% or $8,000 goes to John, the agent. 20% or $2,000 goes to EXP, the company. Out of the company dollar, not the agents, the agent's dollar never gets touched. Out of the company dollar, you would receive $350 from that transaction. Now, let's say John from St. John brings in Sarah from Halifax, for example. Well, these two numbers added together is 4%. So let's say Sarah closes a $10,000 commission. 4% of 10K is $400, 80-20 split. 80% or 8,000 to Sarah, 20% or 2,000 to EXP. And out of EXP's 2,000, you would now get $400 from that transaction. And you're going to get a direct deposit to your bank account on the third Friday of every month of the accrual of all of the transactions that have been closed within the last 30 days of your organization. Now, a couple important things to notice. Number one, the agent seller never gets touched. Number two, this is coming from the money that would usually go directly to the broker's pockets. Now it's coming back to you, the agent. Now, number three, this is showing you the seven tiers below you. What it is not showing you is the seven tiers above you. Let me explain. At a traditional brick and mortar franchise brokerage, you have one layer of value in most cases, which is your broker. So that means your ability to get trained, educated, coached, and mentored is predicated on two things. Number one, the time your broker has to invest into you. But because the brokers at traditional brokerages wear your hat, well, by wearing every hat, they usually don't have much time to do so. But simultaneously, number two, it depends on their skill set. I have brokerages that roll their entire brokerage into my group from 10 agents to over 100 agents. And most brokers do not properly understand lead generation, social media, personal branding, video marketing, or anything that's relevant in the modern time, which means that you as the agent have to go buy somebody's training, pay for additional coaching, spend endless hours on YouTube, wasting time, thus losing money. At EXP, there's seven tiers above you. Now, so long as you join the right organization like mine, where just to give you some context, all of my social media training is given for free to every single agent seven tiers deep because I'm compensated through the company dollar. So I can afford to give it to everybody for free. My sponsor above me is a big real estate investor. So you get all of his real estate investment training for free. We have five live mastermind calls every single week, one every day, Monday to Friday. We have all of our branding training, all of our traditional training in terms of mindset, goal setting, business planning, how to leverage your CRM, repeat referral, and everything you need to do to crush your business and build momentum and become a six, seven figure peer realtor. Well, you get all of it for free with our group because we're compensated through the money that would usually go directly to the broker. So this is incredibly powerful. Now, let me explain the two nuances of this that most people don't know. Number one, the revenue share is willable. Now, again, being from New Brunswick, I know how important family is. This is the only security blanket you're going to get for your loved ones. So at any other brokerage, if you pass away tomorrow, you leave your family with whatever you've got today. Well, at EXP, the revenue share is willable. So if I pass away tomorrow, my family could inherit a seven figure per year residual income to provide for my family for the rest of their life. So what this means is now all the time you're putting into your business, time away from your family, friends, passions, and hobbies to build momentum. If something unforeseen happens to you, your family is now going to benefit and be taken care of based on all the effort you put into your business and in other brokerages, that's not the case. Now, number two, you retain the residual income so long as you maintain an active real estate license. So let me explain. Let's say you're 40 years old and you want to close deals until you're 50. So at any other brokerage, you're gonna put 10 years time away from your family, friends, passions, and hobbies to build your business. And after 10 years, you're gonna get a handshake and a thank you for making your broker a ton of money and your income now goes to zero. 
after 10 years of putting it into your business. You're better off being a nine to five employee in some cases. Well, at eXp, as long as you maintain an active license, you retain your residual income. So let's say you're 40 years old, you wanna close deals to your 50, but you're healthy enough just to keep your license in active standing until you're 80. No deals, no clients, no paperwork, nothing. Just maintaining your license. Well, you're gonna have 10 years of active income and when you turn 50 and stop closing deals, your active income goes to zero. But from 50 to 80, you will have 30 more years of direct deposit residual income for being at this life-changing brokerage. Now, I can't promise this is gonna happen in the sense of what I'm about to say because you know we never know what's gonna happen, but in many cases, there's going to be younger people below you and younger people above you that are also there wanting to build their business. So that means in some cases, when you're out enjoying time with your family, with your kids, with your grandkids traveling, your monthly residual income may even end up increasing over that time. So now you go from 10 years of income to 40 years of income solely by being at a brokerage that can compensate you fairly for the time you put into your business as an agent. So once you start understanding that this is doing the exact same thing you would at any other brokerage, nothing is getting taken for the agent's dollar, but it allows you to create an exit strategy, a retirement plan, and a security blanket for your family. This ultimately becomes the number one decision you can make in order to build lifestyle of your dreams and also make sure the ones you love the most are taken care of. So let's dive back into the presentation, talk about some of the other nuances and dive into more value about this incredible brokerage. So that's awesome. Uh, Mike, one thing I find that people in, in New Brunswick kind of don't realize is the benefits of actually joining the Wolfpack. A lot of people are here in EXP. A lot of agents are realizing that EXP is ahead of the curve, but it's so important that agents realize the, the sponsor that they choose is even more important than them joining the company because the sponsor is going to give them the value and the experience that they have within EXP. Why? And I know that you know exactly why, and I know why, but can you please elaborate on why joining the Wolfpack um, is is the key component to joining EXP and um, why it's so important that people pick a good sponsor like uh, like yourself. Yeah, definitely. You know, choosing your sponsors is the most important decision that you can make with EXP. And, and you know, I'll talk about that for a couple of reasons, which is number one, most people don't know that you can't switch your sponsor with a caveat, which is that the only way to switch your sponsor is to leave the company for six months, go to a different brokerage, then come back. And they're actually in the process of considering making that one year. Now, this is crazy because, you know, there's two things I want to mention here. Number one, based on the ICR and the independent contractor agreement that we signed when joining any brokerage or specifically EXP, it specifically states that the roles and responsibilities of the sponsor is to solely bring you into the company. That's it. That's all. So here's the problem with this is there's many people in the company that don't have a value proposition or anything unique to offer to the agents to help them get from where they are today to where they want to go. So what they do is they're mass messaging everybody. And what happens there is that oftentimes they're trying to tell you and say, Brandon, let's say you're looking to join me. They're telling you everything you want to hear. They're sugarcoating all of it. They're making it sound like it's all, you know, roses. And then when you come, they, you don't get any of it and they're on to the next agent, which is a huge mm -hmm. problem because, you know, technically based on the contract, they don't have to, but that's why since joining the company, I've received eight to 10 emails per day, seven days a week. For over two years from agents saying, Mike, I joined this person in New Brunswick. I joined this person wherever. I didn't get anything I was promised. I feel like I'm alone. I feel like I'm on an island. How can I join your group? Because I see that it's like a family. I see that it's innovative. I see that you guys are, you know, hyper energetic and growth oriented and breaking records. I want to be a part. And again, we've, you know, had 31 people leave other groups to, to join us. And thankfully, nobody has, has left us to go elsewhere. But you know, when you start looking at this, the sponsor can be incredibly important if you align with the right person, because the way that right. we've operated is we've almost decided to take the mentality of giving the value you would if you were on a 50-50 split team, but we don't charge any split. We give everything for free. So that's just because, again, we look at this as a long-term play. If I help you crush it, like the average agent last year that joined us doubled their production. If you look at the fact that we've helped agents 10x their production in 12 months. Well, that to me is a sign that the value that we're providing is sufficient. And now that's going to transpire into other people. But the Wolfpack is important. So 
what I started doing when I came to the company is again, after I got over the data and saying, okay, eXp makes more sense than any other brokerage in North America. And by math, you could prove that. I also started looking at well, no brokerage is perfect. You can't be ignorant to say it's a perfect brokerage because it's not. Right. So right. I started kind of poking <laughs> holes in the company and what other groups at eXp were doing in New Brunswick, all over North America and saying, why would an agent leave them? Why would an agent not increase their production? If they want residual income, why would they not get it? Why do they feel like they're on an island? What are the problems that other groups are facing? And how can I create resources, private internal for our group, that's going to alleviate people from that pain point? So when I started looking at this, I identified five key things that every other group I've still found to date is more or less facing, which is modern training. You've got the support, you've got retention, growth, and systems. So when we start looking at this, eXp is a modern brokerage. A lot of people are coming here to build their business the modern way. The one thing is that they do not have the best modern training. Now, right, there's right. a caveat. They have amazing traditional training, right? So eXp has 50 hours of training every single week taught by the icon agents, the top 1% of agents in this market, not last year, not, you know, the year before, like most coaches, the top actively producing agents in this market, which is the first time in history that the top agents from a brokerage are the ones teaching every agent. Because usually at brokerages, especially brick and mortar franchises with an office, none of the top producers share the best information because they're creating competition within their own office. I was that way too at my boutique brokerage. I was a top producer. I didn't want to tell everybody my top social media strategies that was bringing me clients every month for free because then they're going to take my clients. But here it incentivizes collaboration. So first time in history, the top producers are training the agents, great traditional training, but a lot of people are coming here to build their business the modern way. Right. And eXp doesn't have the best modern training. So for me, that being my forte, I've helped multiple agents do over 50 million in their first year. I've helped our average agents double their production. I've helped so many people leverage free video and, you know, advertising and all these different kinds of nuances, building their personal brand to have clients coming directly to them. So that's been a huge thing for our group is we've become the most socially focused group in the company. And we have the largest combined following in the company as well. Now, the next part is support, because again, going back to the ICA, you don't have to give the people that join you anything above and beyond what the company does. But we decided to over deliver on that. So we've kind of automated two things. Number one, the day people join is the day you automatically get everything we promise, right? Social and I'll link that Academy. below. Yeah. All the social yeah. media training, all the traditional training, all of our five live mastermind calls, week, everything that we provide is given you the night that you join automatically. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. simultaneously, we have an incredible support system because we have the ability to, again, show you how to get support from the 2000 employees in the cloud for every aspect of your business. So that that way, you know, you always have the right people kind of in alignment with you to make sure you get answers quick. And that's one thing where anybody in our group knows I've never missed a call with a single agent in our group since joining the company. Now the retention play, this is incredibly important because if you grow by a lot of agents, but you lose a lot, then you don't have a business. If you grow by a lot and keep a lot, you've got a thriving business. So one of the reasons why we've got such high retention is kind of the New Brunswick play. And I've told people that we've got a very Canada like group, which it's, is that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, coming from a place where it's very culture focused, it's very, you know, family like in terms of New Brunswick, I wanted to build our group that way. So we have with our five live mastermind calls, the highest show rate on our calls in the company, as well as making sure that again, we are intimate with each other in terms of the cadence and the frequency that we're doing our trainings. We have a very family like culture where last year I transparently pulled our group and 100% of people to join us said they felt more intimately connected with our group virtually than the physical brick and mortar brokers that came from in their local market. So by creating this collaborative environment with the cadence of our calls where we bring on seven, eight, nine figure entrepreneurs, we've had billionaires come to our calls to talk to our agents privately, it's allowed us to have more referrals, have high retention. When agents partner with you, they plug into our calls. See, they won't get training like that anywhere else. And now they stay and they get excited. And you know, when you look at our group, everybody's excited. Everybody's pumped every single day with the new stuff we're releasing, the new stuff we're doing, all the you know kind of plans that we have in the works and all the things that we've already got. It is a really you know conducive environment to growth, which has been super powerful. Now that leads to the growth aspect. So when when you look at this model, not saying people have to care about residual income, I know people that have joined eXp that have not attracted a single agent, but now have eight figures in company stock from their production, right? So you don't have to ever 
allow a friend to partner with you, but who wouldn't? Right. So when you look at the residual component, I build that for you as the top attractor at the company. So when we start looking at this, the way that it operates is that typically the reason why most people struggle to grow at eXp is that they're either sending a video presentation done by an agent that's not even them, which is saying, hey, I don't even understand my own model, but don't join the person who does in that video. Come join me. It makes no sense. Right. Or you have to take time away from your production to do a one hour training, then follow up, then answer the questions and all these things. But when you're new to the company, you don't know the model, you don't know the objections, so you won't get the agent. If you reinvested that time back into production, you could have got another deal. So the way that we operate is I take care of all the calls for every single person in our group. So if somebody's looking to partner with you or anybody else that aligns with us, you have the top guy, the company for personal attraction doing the calls for you, which is right. super powerful and it creates massive leverage. Now, the last part is the systems, right? So eXp is a great brokerage, but it's not perfect. So their onboarding process isn't great. They've got great support, but nobody knows where to go for it. KV Core is a life-changing CRM system and IDX website, but nobody knows how to use it. There's you know, no accelerated programs for newer agents saying, here's how to increase your production or here's how to attract agents, whatever your focus is. And a lot of people don't have goal setting, business planning and, and mindset training, which is the most powerful aspect of how to become a successful entrepreneur. So what we did is we just created our private hub that alleviates all those, our own onboarding process, our own support system, accelerated programs, all of the training on KB Core done by agents doing multiple six figure a year from it. So what we've done is by design, very strategically, created a system that we give to everybody for free that alleviates all the pain points that continue to hear people facing in other groups. Right. And, uh, and yeah, so the social agent Academy, I mean, that you've created itself, that, that is, it's, it's like a university college course all thrown into one in a, in a super understandable, uh, step-by-step -step program. That's not just something you did once. This isn't something that you did once and, and you've left it. You've been updating it. It gets, it gets updated with, with the modern TikTok strategies, modern Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, how to make the thumbnails and like things that people don't even think of as being important. And like, and like laying out the tools that you give to people to be able to use, man, it's, it's, it's actually changed my business. I mean, I've, I have, uh, I've, I've reoccurring YouTube clients and investors that, that are calling me for the second and third deal now, uh, just this year from me starting to, to implement your strategies just at the start of the year. And it's been, it's been honestly life-changing. And then to touch on the culture too, of the wolf pack, yeah. the culture is contagious. It is yeah. completely contagious. The, the drive that everybody has and how it's so modernly orientated on, on, on doing real estate, the modern way on social media, you know, I like just being on the calls and then, and then I get to uh, follow some of these people on their Instagram, seeing, seeing what they're doing, how they're implementing their own brand, their own, their own niches into their branding and stuff like that. It's been, uh, it's been, it's been incredible. So yeah, the culture, I mean, I can, I can, yeah, it's, it's, it's super contagious, man. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's super important because, you know, a lot of, a lot of agents feel like they're lonely. They're on an Island they're you know, they're by themselves or, or they're not, you know, it's, it's a difficult business when you, when you're not surrounded by people that are pushing. Right. And if you're yeah. the average of the five people you surround yourself with, and you're surrounding yourself with low to average producers, you're going to be one. Uh, whereas if you're surrounding yourself with people like our group where people are doing 50 to 150 million in solo production around the world, now you're inspired. Um, and I think, you know, the next thing we should we should definitely dive into is is some of the, you know, objections people have yeah. or concerns and things like that. But it's all about creating leverage, right? If we can create leverage of your time in terms of having clients coming directly to you instead of you having to go hunt for the next deal, follow up, nurture, all that kind of stuff, your profit goes way up and you also have a lot more fun in the business and you create a right. flexible lifestyle. And, and that's the same with this model is it creates leverage of your time and your income um, as we talked about with the residuals. So I'm excited to now talk about some of the, you know, concerns people have that maybe are not as educated on this model as us and, and to be able to help make sure that we give people the confidence in how life changing this truly is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So some of the objections, um, you know, first of all, let's just start kind of right at the beginning for the agents that are even reluctant to, to look at the EXP model. Let's say they're, you know, they're, they're completely satisfied at their brokerage. They don't feel any, any need to even, to even explore new options. Yeah, definitely. And, and I hear that all the time. It's just, you know, there's, there's a number of way to approach this question, which is, if you're comfortable, you're not growing, right? And this is one of the things that you need to understand is that if you're comfortable where you are, your business is not growing. And if it's not growing, it's dying, right? So this is why you start to see a lot of people joining us that are doing 
50 to 100 deals a year that were comfortable at their brokerage, best friends with their broker, but they want more. And simultaneously, as an entrepreneur, the, you know, by being around a lot of people that do eight, nine figures as entrepreneurs, the kind of mentality is that if there's a proven exponentially growing opportunity in your space, you're doing a disservice to yourself to not at least explore it. It doesn't mean you have to join. It doesn't mean you have to do it. But if right. you're not looking at it properly, unbiasedly, and with the right information, you might miss out on the biggest opportunity of your business. And that's what we've seen with me with many other people that turn a blind eye because they don't hear about it from somebody that know has, you know, has no idea what they're talking about. And then they say, hey, not for me. Well, let's hear from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about and can give you the right information. Because then that's the only way you can make an educated decision. Because if you make an educated decision, after you have the right information, and you look at the numbers and say, hey, this is not for me. Cool. That's completely okay. But you are doing a disservice to yourself and your family by not looking at it. For example, the top compass team out of, out of Seattle, luxury agents, they weren't looking at this, didn't want to be a part of it. They were all, you know, all over, eat, leave, breathe the, the, the compass luxury branding. And I said, okay, well, let's just run the numbers and, you know, we'll see where the numbers land. And if they don't land in your favor, let's never talk about it again. But if it does land in your favor, let's just have an open discussion about it. And when I ran the numbers, they do about 1.5 million in GCI between the two twins. Uh, they would have made $457,000 more at EXP that year than they did at Compass. So right. when we start looking at this, they said, oh, I don't want to look at it. Well, when $450,000 came into play, USD, well, that became a different discussion because what I asked them is, what would you do with that $450,000? Would you pay off debt? Would you take your family on more vacations? Would you put a nest egg away for your kids so that when they go to college one day, it's fully paid for? What would you do with that $450,000? And that's that's a big example because that's you know $1.5 million GCI. But still, I've run the numbers yeah. for people that do 80,000 in GCI, and they would have made $13,000 more, which is still and a big deal. So that's still a big deal to a lot of people. Absolutely. Yeah, big time. Yeah. So yeah. The, the thing that I just urge people that are not looking at it, or that are reluctant to look at it is just have the open discussion with the right person like us to understand all of the nuances of the model, and then make an educated decision. And if it's not for you fully support it. But to date, 100% of the people we've had that discussion with are mind blown when they truly see what happens when we kind of tailor this model to their business and where they want to go. Because here's the thing, the last thing I'll say on this is that I always ask people what their goals are. And they always say, I want to travel more. I want to spend more time with my family. I want residual income uh, through real estate investing so that I have more flexibility and I create wealth, all these things. The problem is, is that people have goals but they're not always in the right vehicle to get them to those goals. So right. I talk to agents that are in their sixties and their seventies and they're saying, Mike, you know, I've been an agent for 30 years and now I can't even retire because as income goes up, so do expenses, so does lifestyle. They're 71 years old. A guy that's joining us, a broker rolling his whole brokerage into our group, 70 years old owns a brokerage, can't afford to retire because right. you can't yeah. create wealth. You have no lifestyle. You have no partners aligning with you. And when you start looking at this, are you in the vehicle that will even allow you to get to your goals? And if you are, by chance, is it the vehicle that will get you there in the shortest period of time so you can enjoy those goals for the longest? Right. right. So, and, it's, and it's almost like people are scared to hear that, scared to yeah. like look in and actually see, oh, this is where I should have been the last five or 10 years. And it's almost hard for them to admit that too, right? To say, okay. This is where I should have been. I, I, I would have been better off right now if I figured this out earlier. And then also just the change too, because change yeah. is, 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 is challenging for a lot of people. But uh, at the same time, like you said, if you're, uh, if you're comfortable, you, you're not growing. So yeah. Definitely. Wicked. Um, so what about the agents that say like uh, it's a pyramid scheme? Because, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, or like oh, yeah. multi-level marketing, multi-level marketing or, oh, oh yeah, EXP is all all about all about that. And it's like, yeah. well, that's not true. Yeah, I, lo I love hearing that because it just shows how uneducated people are and that they don't even understand the definition of a pyramid scheme. Uh, because by definition, if you go Google it, the definition of a pyramid scheme is that if I bring Brandon in to join me, I get paid for that, you know, for him joining. But that's not the case because at EXP, we get residual income based on performance. So in the sense of if Brandon joins me and he doesn't sell a single house, I get nothing, 
right? So by definition, it can't be a pyramid scheme. Plus pyramid right. schemes are illegal. And based on the fact <laughs> that we're SEC regulated and publicly traded, it's impossible for us to be a pyramid scheme. But yeah. let's talk about the tiered structure in terms of multi-level. So this is really important because most people are looking at this and saying, okay, it's a tiered structure. But most people simultaneously don't understand how a traditional brokerage operates. So let me give you an example. Well, you know, Remax or any franchise brick and mortar brokerage that's publicly traded. This is more or less how they're structured on a five tier system. So you've got the owners of Remax, for example, at the top. Then you've got the international owners that buy into the franchise of Remax Canada. Then you've got the regional owners that buy into Remax New Brunswick, then the broker owners that open Remax Vincent in Chris Pam Sis, and then you've right. got the agents at the bottom. Well, at EXP, by dropping overhead, reducing expenses, and going cloud base, they can afford to get more back to the agents. So last year in 2021, EXP gave $125 million back to the agents for helping the company grow. At wow. Remax or physical brick and mortar franchise brokerage, Cobalt Banker, all those companies, that $125 million when it went to the middlemen that paid into, to get into the franchise system, which is the international, regional, and broker owners, zero of it would have went to the agents. So at EXP, even though we have a tiered structure in the sense of modeled after Keller Williams, the only massive difference is that we share revenue off the top of four expenses, which is a guaranteed amount every single time. They share profit off the bottom after expenses, which is an undetermined amount every time, which is predicated on the brokerage's expenses, which means mm -hmm. they can sometimes massage the numbers so that the brokerage is spending enough and not giving much to the agents. And I've seen it happen multiple times. But when we start looking at this, EXP has two tiers in the sense of its brokerage structure. You've got the owners of the company and then the agents, and the agents are majority owners, and the founders of the company are previously agents. One of the only publicly traded brokerages where the founders of the company were actually realtors as well. Um, so when you look at this, it's really powerful because now the company makes decisions based on what's in the best interest of the agents because the agents are majority owners, right? So yeah, we have seven tiers modeled out there Keller Williams, but again, this is just aligning with your partners and being able to help them grow their business by giving them a better level of service as we talked about in the revenue share section. So uh, for people that are saying that, they just have no clue what they're talking about. No, absolutely. And I couldn't agree more. Um, and then, uh, so that's kind of, I think it's a good transition to go into the agents that say it's all about recruiting too, yeah. right? So that's another major misconception. And, and uh, you actually did hit on this earlier, saying that you know some agents that have made um, all kinds of money never recruiting anybody ever once. Yeah. Yeah. So when you look at EXP, like, what well, would let's revert it to the math, right? So when we look at the data, 82% of agents, actually 88% of agents do not care about revenue share. All they care about is production. 12% of agents at DXP care about residual income, right? The reason why a lot of people think that everybody does is because you usually hear from the 12%, not the 88% that aren't caring about it, that are out there crushing deals, right, which right. leads me to crushing deals. So right now at the point of this recording, EXP is the number one transactional volume brokerage in the entire United States, more than Realogy, which is Sotheby's, Coldwell, and Better Homes and Gardens combined, EXP does more transactional volume than Realogy, Compass, Redfin, any of these brokerages that are publicly traded, right? That's so so when you start looking at this, that we're not just growing the fastest, but we're yeah. selling the property. So a lot of people aren't looking at the data and seeing, right. hey, we've got people doing $100 million of solo agents in our group. We've got teams that are doing, you know, billions of dollars in sales. We've got, the, the, you know, all of these metrics in terms of right now in North America or in the United States, rather, I'll have to get the data on Canada. But in the U.S., we're gaining more market share than any other brokerage. We have more profitability than any other brokerage. We are attracting more and growing more than any other brokerage and the largest transaction volume of any other brokerage, all right. performance stats based on production. So sure, if we're able to partner with people, yeah, there's going to be a component to that. But the component of that is bringing people into a brokerage that's going to give them better training, better tools, better resources, better compensation. It's not like we're having to weasel people into an opportunity that's going to help them make less or do right. less. You're bringing people into a life-changing opportunity that's going to help them crush it and build the exit strategy and the lifestyle of the dreams. So why wouldn't you be passionate about sharing about it? The way that you know one of our, our business partners and founders of the company says is like, 
if you found the cure to cancer, would you keep it to yourself or would you save it? Right. Or would exactly. you share it with the world? Right. You'd be letting well, everybody know, right. You'd let everybody know, right? Well, the yeah. thing is with this model is that this is a cure to real estate agents, businesses of mm -hmm. giving them the flexibility and the lifestyle that they always dreamed of and got into the business to achieve. Right. So this is the dream solution for agents. So why would you not be passionate about sharing it? Because, Hey, every agent I've ever met says they get into real estate because they love changing lives and they want to make impact and they love helping people. So if that's a true statement, then let's talk about how you can actually do that. Cause I, in two years have changed 1200 agents lives, right? So when we start looking at this, it aligns perfectly with what agents want to do and why they even got into the business. Yeah. Myself being one of them. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and the results speak for themselves, Mike, just on, uh, just on that point, the results speak for themselves. Like you said, um, it's, you know, people just have to look at the numbers where, where it's, it's not just that we're the fastest growing company, but also achieving the actual uh, sales volume. And so that just goes to show the, the training and how motivated people are when they actually get into the company too. And of course, when you're working for a company that you're, that you're happy with and, uh, and in a broker that you're happy with, um, it's going to just make you do even better and it's going to make you even more motivated too. Um, sure. so, so one that I hear an objection that I hear very often is, uh, is, is agents saying like, you know, I'm already one of the top brokers at, or sorry, I'm already one of the top agents at my brokerage. Why I would I, that. why would I switch over? Why do I need the Wolfpack? Why do I need EXP? Um, so, so either the top agents at their brokerage or the top team too, because most top mm -hmm. agents have, have teams, right? Yeah, it's it's the best it, it's the best objection you could possibly get because again it goes back to the typical quote. We say this is how all these agents, you know, are, are joining us that are super high producers. We've got brokerages of 65 to 150 agents joining us, mega teams, big agents. So it goes back to the typical quote, which is if you're the average of the five people you surround yourself with, then if you're the number one person in the brokerage, then who are you hanging out with? five people that are below you. How are you going to learn? How are you going to grow? How are you going to improve if you're one of the best? That's where I found I was one of the best at my brokerage. Well, I wasn't learning anything because everybody else was doing less. So if you've got the ego play to say, hey, I'm the best or I'm one of the best or I'm doing incredibly well, well, there's levels to this because I know people that are doing, you know, by their definition, incredibly well, and they're doing 30 million in production well, let's bring you into an ecosystem of people doing 100 million in production, right? So yeah, there's always yeah. levels to this. And again, if you're going to take a, a kind of ego approach to this and say, well, I'm one of the top, there's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else I can learn. Well, that very mindset is what's keeping you from going to the next level, unlocking your full potential, because you're surrounded by people that are all doing less. So it's holding you back by definition. So when you start looking at this opportunity, that's why we have people that join us that are doing $50 million a year and they go to 75 or they go to a hundred or people that join us that are doing 10 million a year and they go to 25, then 50. So this is the best opportunity to now be surrounded by people where New Brunswick, I love it. I'm from there. Very small, right? So when you look at this, you're, you're kind of in this own little ecosystem. Well, what if you can learn the best strategies from people doing 50 million in Seattle? in California, in Denver, in Michigan, in Florida, in Austin, and bring that to New Brunswick and say, hey, these guys are ahead of the curve. They're doing something that's innovative. Now, if I bring it to this market, it's disruptive. So it right. allows you to expand your reach to now be surrounded by people above you, ahead of you, that will pull you up and show you what your true potential truly is. Oh, it's so true. That's a prolific answer. Yeah, <laughs> that's just the good. truth. That's good. That's good. Um, and then two, uh, Another uh, another objection is the one. Uh, what about agents that think they need an office? I mean, yeah. I think over the last couple of years, we've all kind of understood um, how working from home can can kind of work. But uh, I guess for the agents that say, you know, that they like going into their office or stuff like that. Yeah, I hear that all the time. So there's there's a couple of different things to touch on there. So number one, EXP Realty is not anti office. They're just not office required. Right. So when you look at a tr traditional brick and mortar franchise brokerage, an office is required. It's mandatory for them to open the franchise. With EXP, it's a cloud based brokerage. So it is virtual. But number one, you get access for free to any of the Regis co working spaces across all of North America and every single city. So if you do want to book a co working space and go to an upscale spot and, and use one of the offices, you can do that. 
Or if you're in a position where you currently have an office, you can maintain that and use it as a massive value proposition to have local agents align with you to alleviate that concern for some people. And then thirdly, is what you already alluded to is that you don't need it, right? So when you start looking at this, you know, an office is just conducive to higher operating expenses, more overhead, whereas you you know, a lot of people want a more agile lifestyle where they can work from anywhere. That's what this allows you to do, right? So it allows you to connect with other people. It allows you to go, you know, do your business in a more flexible way from the comfort of your home or a co-working space or a smaller office. But you know, you look at me, in my city here in Calgary, we had the nicest office in the entire city by miles, and it was 10 minutes down the road. Well, the problem is, is that people don't understand the concept of money and hourly rate. So when I started factoring in, hey, if it takes me 10 minutes to drive to the office, another five to park and do all that. So 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back, that's 30 minutes either which way. If you do that a couple of times a week, that's a couple of hours of driving. Well, if you value yourself at $100 an hour, $250 an hour for me now over $1,000 an hour, you're yep. losing a ton of money because time is money. So if you can start operating the same way you can from home or from a coffee shop or from a co-working space, your profitability goes up, right? So when you look at this, doing well over 100 deals in, in a couple of years, you know, I, I didn't, I met with three clients at the office. I never right. had to go to the office because they wanted to meet at coffee shops, restaurants, bars, their house, somewhere out and about, like, that's it. So it's just a limiting belief because sure, it takes a moment to get used to, but if we can find the way to plug you into the right systems to help you become hyperproductive at home based on all of our time management training and, and systems and processes, your profitability goes up, you're more focused, you're more streamlined, and you're able to be more agile with your business. Profitability goes up and so does your time freedom too. Yep. Which is a huge, huge one for a lot of people as well. Um, and now I guess uh, one of the last objections that uh, that I normally get is uh, the people that have the, the relationship with their broker or uh, mm. say that they need their broker. So let's say that they, you know, let's say that they're at... Uh, Remax or they're at Royal LePage and um, and they say, well, EXP isn't that that well known around here, so that's why I'm with I'm with um, Royal LePage, uh, Remax, whoever it may be, Coldwell Banker, um, yeah. right? It's like uh, so uh, yeah. So I guess what do we say to the people that think they need their broker? Oh yeah. So a couple. Of, there's kind of two things to touch on there, which is the brokerage brand and then the broker itself. Um, so in the brokerage brand, right, there's a lot of people who say you need RLP, Royal Page, or Remax, or Coldwell, or KW in, in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia and things like that. Um, couldn't be further from the truth, right? Because at the end of the day, nobody will ever work with you based on the brokerage you're at. They will work with you because of the value you provide. Which is why you can go to any market. Like I went to the number one Remax office in my in my market as a brand new agent. I was there for the first four months, and yeah, it had all the top agents, but it also had all the duds that weren't doing anything. If the brokerage brand mattered that much, every agent at the office would be crushing it. You will never ever find a brokerage where every agent is crushing it. So that by definition means the brokerage brand doesn't mean anything because if it did, it would be bringing clients to everybody just by the nature of saying you're there. It doesn't mm -hmm. exist. It's never happened in any market in the world, right? So your personal brand is what matters. You can even use the reference that I always like to allude to, which is like, I could ask a thousand agents which brokerage Ryan Serhant was at before he started Serhant, 990 couldn't tell me, right? But everybody knew him, right? Yeah. Everybody knew who Ryan was, right? So people will work with you because of you, not because of where you hang your license, which means you should be hanging your license in the location that's going to best compensate you for that effort. So when we backdoor it into the other thing that you're alluding to, which is, you know, I've got a relationship with my broker and things like that. Well, let me kind of paint a picture for you. So number one, you have local brokers in every single market that eXp is operating in. So you're going to get the local support. But when you look at a traditional broker, they, one person wearing every hat for every agent compensated on the agent's production. So what that leads to is they can't humanly possibly support everybody to the fullest potential because they're doing, in most cases, new agent onboarding, new agent training, brokerage training, marketing, branding, compliance, risk, transaction review, everything. So what they do in most cases is because they're compensated through the agent's production, as a business decision, they spend their most time supporting the agents that bring the most money to the brokerage, which are the top producers, not the new agents that need the most help. Whereas at eXp, you've got brokers in every market, 
that only wear one hat, which is to help you immediately with local transactional support because there's 2,000 employees that take care of all the things a broker shouldn't be doing, but has to. Right. And then they're compensated on salary. So they're unbiased, whether you've done zero deals, one deals, 100 deals, or a million deals, right? Now, the alternative to that is, or in conjunction with that, it's helping people understand that, again, I was best friends and still am with my past broker. But at the end of a few years of being a strong agent and a top producer, I just sit back and think, the question we already talked about, is this going to get me to where I want to go? And when I started looking at it, you have to realize that you need to separate business from friendship. I started realizing, hey, I absolutely my broker, best friend, mentor, role model, I love him. But he's not paying my bills. So when I started hearing about eXp and some of the ancillary of, you know, kind of effects of what it could do for you, I started thinking, well, can my brokerage give me a retirement plan? Because one day I'm going to want to retire, exit the business. Well, the answer was no. Okay, well, as one of their strongest agents, can they give me ownership in their brokerage in order to, you know, be compensated and have skin in the game for helping them grow? Well, the answer was no. Okay, well, as a 24th agent, help them grow to 130 agents in two and a half years, I added a ton of money to their bottom line. I got nothing. Well, what if I could get something for that? And, you know, as you start to realize success follows success, what if you could plug into a system that will give you better training, not be geographically restricted, but also have a security blanket for your family? So I started asking these kind of, you know, probing questions to myself and right. said, can my broker give me this? Unbiasedly, aside from the relationship, can they do it? Okay. Well, now I need to make a logical decision for my business, not a personal decision for my emotions, right? And again, it's completely changed my life. Went from 300000 to $3.1 million in 12 months. And that's just it. Because it's like, how is the relationship with your broker going to affect you once you retire, once you're done selling real estate? And what you quickly see is how much does your broker actually care about you? Because the coolest part was, is I was best friends, still am best friends with my broker. When I let him know the transition that I was doing, he he straight up on the call said, Mike, we knew you would do something like this. We just didn't know when, because we know you couldn't reach your potential at a local brokerage like this. So right. I found out that he actually was a best friend, did care about my best interest when I made a decision that wasn't in his best interest. So right. a lot of right. times you say, oh, my broker loves me. I love my broker. Go make a decision that's not in their favor and doesn't make them money and see how much they really care about you. Because I've heard that many times every single month and the broker finds out they're leaving shuts off their crm cancels their email burns the bridge completely like that your broker cared about you because you're a strong agent you're bringing money to the broker the broker doesn't right. care about you unbiasedly based on what's in the best interest for you your family and your career right no exactly and it's just making that decision and then you see and then you see the real cards too and i mean sometimes like you said it ends up it ends up really well you're still best friends with your with your past broker that's best case scenario too right i mean yeah and then uh you know if it if it ends up being the other way then you realize like you said they were uh only probably interested because because you're making some money so it's at the end of the day you need to look at 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 the long-term plan too right of of kind of yeah. where where do you want to be like you said five ten fifteen years from now for sure yeah yeah. Well, do you think that covers everything, Mike? I think that's it, man. I think again, you know, we, we've dove through a lot today and, and, you know, really grateful to be able to share some of this information. And, and yeah. again, there's so much more to it in terms of is, the yeah. different team structures, the training structure, like the, the health benefits in terms of, you know, things that we have in Canada above and beyond. Like there's so many layers to this that I think it's important that on this call, we were just able to touch on the surface of the fundamentals. Right. And again, if people want to know more information, they could book a three-way call with us. We could chat yep. with them one-on-one, -on -one, tailor this model to their business, see if it's a good fit based on running the numbers and looking at it from a mathematic perspective, and then explore the opportunity together. And, and again, as we say, if it's not the right fit for whatever rich reason, let's at least find that out with the right information instead of just making that as an assumption. But I think this is, a, this is a great way to at least give people some of the fundamentals of the model. And then when they want to talk deeper, they can just book a private call with us and we can, we can dive into it you know, confidentially together. 100%. And then, and then go over each, each individual concern or a question that they have. Um, and, uh, and, and I'm sure we're going to leave some links below as well and in, in the description um for uh, for kind of everything that we've that we've gone over today too definitely yeah we'll, we'll link everything there guys and, and make sure that you have all the right information mike 
thank you so much for taking time to do this. Like you said, you've never missed a call. You've been absolutely amazing ever since I started. Uh, you're super accessible, uh, whether it be, you know, sending a text message, actually, you know, setting up a call. And uh, man, I can't appreciate and I can't thank you enough for uh, for kind of being there for, for, for everybody because I know that you have a, a crazy busy schedule, but you make it seem like you don't. So that's uh, very admirable, man. Thank you very much. Definitely. Thank you, man, for having me on your channel. Thanks for everybody that stayed tuned. Again, hopefully you book a call and chat with us because uh, we'll blow your mind when we start pulling back the curtain. So there we go. And for everybody, yeah. And for everybody that uh, has watched up to this point, thank you so much. Hit the like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to uh, talk to you individually or uh, set up a call um, with all three of us. So thank you very much. You bet. Take care, guys.